Well, hello and welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games. Certainly this is a very, very impressive venue, quite a sight to behold. The lineup we have suggests it's going to be a 4-5-1 formation, Jim. Well, most teams that use this system, Peter, will work it in a, a way where, yes, they'll have a 4-5-1 shape off the ball and ideally a 4-3-3 shape on it. We often see that 4-1-4-1 shape too, and that has an obvious flexibility about it. It's a, it's a popular managerial selection because of that. It's just extremely flexible with all the numbers I've mentioned. Out to the right, well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Has a goal! It's there! And Japan are in front! What a great finish, but how about the touch? It just allowed him to put the ball exactly where he wanted it and the rest became a formality. So we have our breakthrough. And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. Japan put it back again. And helps available out wide. In with a header! Oh, just needed a better contact. Oh, this was all about good movement in the box just to allow him to get to it. beautifully dispatched there was no reaching that well I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out never mind one there was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement has certainly made things interesting. He's still going. Where to next? Pumps it into the air. And a header! Oh, he couldn't get the direction he needed. I have to commend the wing plate, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's, it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honest shift. And he's away.
He's gone down, but the referee just tells him to get back up again. That's a decent ball. And it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. And the referee brings it to a close. A very good game of football. No winner, but both sets of fans have got their money's worth. Fine entertainment, and it ends all square. And after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Japan certainly had some good moments, Peter. There were plenty of encouraging spells that more should have been made of. Here we go. Many thanks to Jim Beglin for his... Well, a very warm welcome to you on this most pleasantly clear evening. Conditions absolutely beautiful. Perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well. No doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this neck of the woods. It surely must be. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely picture-perfect for a game of this nature. Turkey braced for their anthem. has got the juices flowing and now this Japan have gone with a 4-5-1 gym. Well, it's a formation, Peter, that lends itself to good possession and control in midfield because you've got the numbers there, a higher concentration. Backing that up with enough attacking dynamism is down to managers who want to get at teams. It can be used in cautious terms too, but certainly if you want to advance a little quicker and you have that attitude, then you can be very positive about this too. Off we go then. Sonny! Decent enough try. Oh, that's a, an agonizing miss. Just pure agonizing.
direction he needed. Well, he certainly got to the ball well enough, but the rest didn't quite come off him. Saka. Pointing finish in the end. Well, Peter, I would say it was worth a try. Did well to step in there. That was more than necessary. It's the through ball. A big chance! What a what goes for goal! He scored! The lightness of step, the sharpness of movement, the certainty of finish. I think he just thought about trying his look from further out there, but why bother when you can worm your way through a defence like that? It's it's terrific play to, to get through and score. Japan break the deadlock. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. Time to deliver. And here's Chalhanolu. Has a hit! Good stop. That wasn't easy. Chalhanolu simply didn't do anything wrong. He was thwarted by brilliance. So is long. Just and the finish! He scored! Two up and threatening to pull clear! Well, that always looked like the outcome. Well, he made it obvious as to where the pass should be played, Peter, and it made the finish look that bit easier. Japan get themselves a two-goal cushion. Calderim proving impossible to wrestle off the ball. And that will be the final act. Japan can be very happy with a job well done. Efficient win, for which the players simply did enough. How do you look back on the game, then, Jim? Japan will walk away happy from this with such a show of defensive solidity and maturity that's hard to upset. Many thanks to Jim, and with that, it is a very good night to you.
Hello, good afternoon to uh, one and all. Like you, we are very much ready to go here and looking forward to a game that has been the topic for universal conversation in this part of the world for much of the last few days. It's dry at the moment, but the forecasters have warned us of impending rain. There's no certainty about that, but uh, when it does come, it shouldn't affect the uh, dynamics of a match which has so much riding on it. So what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game. Wijnaldum has been linked with so many clubs, hasn't he? Would you say, Jim, there's any truth in the rumours? Well, I just think he's hit form at the perfect time, which can secure the best move possible for him and, and generate a bigger asking... Oh, shooting chance! He scored! Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Leads, break the deadlock. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. A great save, real class. The keeper really dug out his defence then, a magnificent effort. <laughs> Alisson. And that's that. What a game. End to end, it flew by, and in the end, it all came down to just the odd goal. What are your thoughts on today's game then, Tim? Well, to me, this is a result, Peter, that says an awful lot more than the scoreline suggests. You know, after the goal, the team just settled down and, and looked surprisingly comfortable and didn't really need to work too hard. So we've reached the end of our coverage for today. Many thanks to Jim Beglin alongside me. Emerging for this crucial group game here, the tournament still in its relative infancy, but it is already developing into quite a spectacle, and that, of course, is what you expect from this, the greatest of all the tournaments. It has been terrific stuff so far, so let us hope that the trend continues here and now. It is a venue, this, which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world.
according to what we've been told, this is how it looks. It's 4-3-3. Yes, and the importance of this formation is not to allow the midfield three and the attacking three to become too detached from one another. If that happens, then pressure can quickly be applied via the counter-attack and you can be exposed defensively. So compactness can't be compromised. And you need talkers in this team. You need leaders and people that are willing to organise things very quickly. So we're up and running. Well, decisiveness has deserted them, Peter. They need precision, and it's sadly absent. If we're going to get a winner, it's got to come now. Now, surely, going for goal! Yes, it's there! Well, if ever there was a perfect time to score, I think we just witnessed it. I can give the keeper a little sympathy here because I think he might have been slightly unsighted. However, credit where it's due, it's still a fine finish from a tight spot. the changes then in quick succession well he's worked so hard for his side uh, as you would expect but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to to labor a bit so it's no surprise a 1-0 lead established Oh, this is fully deserved for me because they've shown great heart and spirit. It's there to win from here or, dare I say, throw it away now. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Sarri. Brings it forward. And there goes the final whistle. Terrific contest. It really might have tipped either way. The margins were tiny. Just a goal in it. But that was enough. And after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? There's a solidity about them, almost as if they set up not to lose and see how things unfold. That is the pressure on the strikers, who can afford to be patient, and it's all paid off.
welcome everybody to a part of the world where football really matters. There is a healthy tension, great expectation building in the lead up to kickoff here. A little bit grey overhead, and indeed the forecast is for a drop or two of rain as the day grows older. But regardless of that, there is a lovely backdrop here. The ambience is good, smashing noise from both sets of supporters, and expectations high in both caps. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. Fulham come here off the back of that highly entertaining 2-2 draw. Phillips, and it's played forward. Leeds get it back again. Rodrigo. Oh, shooting chance! <laughs> and that has only enhanced his already huge reputation. They're obviously hoping for an early second half boost, but there are a few who can truly make it happen. And this is a very welcome tonic now. Oh, what a cracking goal, but a cracking touch as well. That's what made it for me. That's brilliant play all round. <laughs> A one nil lead established. Well, whatever the manager said in that dressing room at half-time, it's worked a treat. Sambo Anguissa. Fulham desperately need a goal, and this could well be their last chance. Oh, that's neat. The referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. Leeds win it by the only goal. Result, no question, the most important thing, however it came. Final score, one nil. Yeah, it was a, a fairly stern test with very little between two teams that scrapped for everything. It remains for me to thank Jim Beglin for joining us and to wish you a very good day. Good afternoon to uh, one and all. Like you, we are very much ready to go here and looking forward to a game that has been the topic for universal conversation in this part of the world for much of the last few days. It's dry at the moment, but the forecasters have warned us of impending rain. There's no certainty about that, but uh, when it does come, it shouldn't affect the uh, dynamics of a match which has so much riding on it. The Emirates are washed with red and white, a sea of Arsenal, just as you would anticipate. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Gets away from his opponent. Now, oh, shooting chance! Goal! 
Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out, never mind one. There was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement. Leeds take the lead, 1-0. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. Phillips. Rodrigo. Leeds just have to run down the clock. Goes for goal! Oh, taken with style! And with that goal comes comfort! Just so calm under pressure. Well, I think that defence there thought they were in good position and they had him where they wanted, yet somehow he's worked the scoring position when it didn't see him on. It's really crafty business, that. So, time for cheap. And that is that. Leeds, well, it's victorious here, and it's no more than they deserve. They were simply the better team. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Of course, we all love to watch the creative side of the game and goal scorers, but there's an art to good defence too, and their organisation and discipline has helped earn this win. So perfect blue skies, almost no wind, beautiful sunshine. These are indeed conditions for the beautiful game. The backdrop here, picturesque, idyllic. No doubt one of the best days of the footballing calendar and it has added to a really jovial, happy mood in the stands, helping to raise the level of sound by more than a few decibels. Shirt sleeve order, very much the dress code. This place, simply a monument to the game. So much prestige, so much pride, so much passion whenever football is played here. Well, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. How about a shot? Sonny! And they've been caught out here. Rodrigo spreads it towards the left. Goes for goal! Phillips gets it back. Sonny! Kane. It's a, he's gone for it! 
Ferrari can hoist it clear. It's Son Heung Min! And it's a goal! That's wonderfully done. Chris hit, true finish. Son Heung Min really showed his coolness, Peter, by not getting flustered on, on such a tough skill. And for me, it was controlled perfection. First blood here. Still a fragile lead though, they can't afford to sit on this. Click tries to get it forward quickly. That'll be a throw. Save, real class. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. Click. And he's searching through. Hits one. They've scored. They are right back in business. Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Well, if anyone in this stadium thinks they haven't got value for money, I give up. Confirmation that there will be two minutes stoppage time. Son Heung-min. That intervention was very necessary. Oh, shooting chance! Hoiberg pumps it into the area. Tottenham... And time is up. Well, no winner here, but an intriguing game. The result probably a fair reflection. It has finished all square. And after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, a decent draw, Peter, with a good mix of action and plenty of talking points. And it ended with the right result, in my opinion. Well, greetings to everyone. You join us here on a snowy evening ahead of the big match. And these weather conditions have, of course, been the major talking points, indeed the major concern in the hours leading up to kickoff here. You can understand why there was a point during the course of the afternoon when we wondered whether the game might indeed have to be called off. But a lot of people have put in a lot of hard work. Indeed, members of the public have been enlisted to uh, come down and form some sort of an army against the elements they've done really well against the odds the pitches and the shots what a wonderful goal what a start and what a contribution from the main man i had a feeling he might do something 
given his reputation, but to do it like that, absolutely brilliant. I wasn't expecting that. And as soon as they made that error in midfield, they didn't have time to react before the ball hit the net. Very much a lesson learned. Leeds, we have an early lead, good start. <laughs> Brings it forward. Sonny! Oh, fine stop from the keeper. The keeper really dug out his defence then, a magnificent effort. Leeds are looking to get back to winning ways following on from that marginal defeat. Click goes long. He's picked him out. It's a fine run and he's happy to keep going. Chance! He scored! And with that goal comes comfort. That was a given. It always was. Well, it's pretty damning on the part of that defence, Peter, that he was allowed so much time and space. But I think you have to give credit where it's due. And it was a brilliant setup and finish. Gets wrestled off the ball. It's pretty clear that he's being singled out. Yeah, and they finally reacted. Face to face with the kick. Shot a goal! And it's there! And the lead is extended still further. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. That was all very well drilled. His second of the game and an eye now for the hat-trick. The changes then in quick succession. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. Phillips. And that is that. Leeds, comfortable winners, a virtuoso display, utterly one-sided. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? Well, if ever there was a good tone setter for a football match, that was it. First minutes, first shot, first goal, and it set them up. That's it for today. Thank you, Jim, and goodbye.